Hi, I'm Alicia Evans, and I'm here to share um, just an interesting little story. So back when the pandemic was at its height, you know, I was teaching in school and um, teaching a group of college kids, and it was really very difficult. So many people were going through trials and tribulations. And so I gave birth to a child. Oh, now many of you might be saying, I never knew that Alicia had a child. Well, back in February, I had a child and I'm here today. I'd like to introduce you to my little, what I call my little sidekick. Are you ready? Everyone, this is... Hello, my name is Lomi Tinda. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am made out of cotton thread. Mommy? Yes, baby? Can you zoom in on my tummy and let them see the swirls and swirls that makes me up? All right, pull back a little, pull back a little, Mommy. I want to show the people my bow. All right, that's my red yarn bow. Yeah, yeah. Back to you, Mommy. <laughs> She's stupid. Well, anyway... It turns out I would take her to class, and when I had my class, she would sit in the back of me, something similar to this, and this is how we would start our days. I'll never forget, there was this um, one young man, he says to me, I really think Love Me Tender is so cute. I'm adorable. <laughs> would you please keep your mouth shut? Well, anyway, he said he thought she was so cute, and he said, I want to take her home with me. And I'm like, but no, she's just a little girl. She's 10 years old. He's like, no, 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 I don't want to. <laughs> he realized I was a little girl, and if he took me home, he'd get in trouble. <laughs> well, it turns out, love me tender, um, she hung around, and she was really good for the class. And then when May came along, you know, I just put her on the wall. And then one day, I noticed that she was missing. She wasn't on the wall anymore. And you know what? I was really um, a bit upset. I was going to report it to the police. Um, but Love Me Tender, would you like to tell them what happened? Would you? Okay, Mommy. Well, you know, Mommy wasn't paying attention to me, so I went and I got married. Can you envision that? Yep. I went and got married. I used one of those sites, you know, online. And I found a guy just like me. But... Mm -hmm. But what? It didn't work out right. You see, when Steve and I got married, he wanted to, um, he was a little controlling. And every day he came up with a gratitude list. Well, what's wrong with a gratitude list? I'm not understanding the problem with that. What? Gratitude list? Every day he had a gratitude list. And he would say, I love my wife's lie. Um, lips. Her lips are so sweet. I love her rainbow. I love the swirls in her stomach every day. And he would do the list of 10. And then afterwards, he'd be bugging me. Give me your list. Give me your list. And I got sick of it. What do you mean you got sick of it? I mean, just, just, just tell the guy, you know, give him your gratitude list. Yeah, but he was just like torture every day. So then one day... Oh, let's hear what she has to say about this one day. Well, one day, I said, Steve, I have a list, and I want to read you the list, okay? I said, these are the things I'm gratitude grateful for. The quiet intimacy of a taking a bubble bath without Steve. Earplugs and the lock on the bathroom door without Steve. The sound of Steve sleeping on the nearby couch downstairs. Uh, love me, Tender. Don't you think that's a little bit cruel? Lots of closet space with Steve's stuff in the rear room. I went on. Number seven. Uh, Steve's family history of heart disease. And number nine. I don't know how to count. I think that. I think that. Uh, I think that was year nine. Well, I said number nine, inspiring stories of second marriages. <laughs> so after I read the list, uh, Steve, he's all critical. And he's like, oh, that was only nine. That was only nine. That was only nine. And then he got quiet. Mm, I can imagine. What happened? He got quiet and he say, nothing. He busted out and cried. He said, oh. 
So Steve was crying. <laughs> and then, not long after that, guess what? Steve filed for a divorce. And then I was ready to put down my 10th thing for gratitude. <laughs> Getting a divorce for Steve. <laughs> You know, I don't think that's so funny. Oh, yes, it is. I can only say enough about those gratitudes lift. They improve your life and lift your spirits. And if anything, I'm happier than ever. <laughs> you know, um, that's not right. That's really not live, right, let me tender. Let, let's change the subject here for a moment. Let's sing your um, your theme song, your name theme song. Would you like to start? You mean love me tender? Yes, love me tender. Are you ready? Yeah. Love me tender, love me sweet. Mommy, are you going to join in? Love me all night long. Love me tender, love me sweet. Love me day to dawn. Oh, love me, love me tender. Let's end it. Love me tender, love. Uh, girly girl. Love me, sweet. <laughs> Bye. Me and lovely tender. Bye-bye.